everyone, I'm your science communicator star. Today we have a very special guest from Hanhua Aerospace, a brilliant legal expert who breaks down space law like no other. Attorney Yongshin An. Hi everyone, I'm Yongshin An, a doctor of the science of law, specializing in space law, and an attorney from the legal team of Hanhua Aerospace. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm really excited about today's topic. So what are we talking about today? Today's topic is a new rocket enhancement project and rideshare. Now, let's dive into the interesting space world. Let's start with the Nuria rocket. In 2022, South Korea joined the ranks of the world's top seven faring nations thanks to the successful launch of the Korean launch vehicle Nuri, as known as KSLV-2. Now, Nuri is aiming even higher with technology advancement projects that include four launches by 2027. That's amazing! I remember how emotional that first launch was. So what's changing with the next phase? The two test launches were completed by 2022, and now the Nuri rocket advancement project is underway, aiming for a total of four commercial launches between 2023 and 2027. The project has a massive budget of 687.4 billion won and led by Hanhua Aerospace was selected as the system integrator for the project. That sounds like a major national project. What's the key technical focus? The core of the Nuri rocket is a cluster of four 75-ton liquid engines producing a combined of the total thrust of 300 tons. This project will improve engine stability and lay the groundwork for the next generation launch vehicle. And is there also a focus on multi-satellite deployment? Absolutely. By redesigning the satellite fairing, Nuri rocket can now carry multiple satellites and deploy them simultaneously giving small satellites much needed a chance to reach the space. For example, in the first launch, scheduled for late 2025, it will carry the next generation mid-sized satellite 3, or CAS 500-3, along with 12 CubeSats as secondary payloads. Is that correct? You've got it. Nuri is going to be really, really busy. Now, let's dive into our second segment of the day, the Rideshare Satellite Program. Let me guess, like a carpooling for satellites? Exactly. It's a system where multiple small satellites share the same rocket. This helps cut launch costs, improves access to space, and enables more flexible deployment into various orbits. It must be especially helpful for startups and small satellite developers. Yes, a great example is Hanwha System Small Flower Satellites. They are specifically designed for multi-unit launches and demonstrate strong potential for future rideshare integration. Today, we have explored how the Nuri Rocket Advancement Project and Rideshare Satellite Program are reshaping the future of Korean space development. How was it today, Youngshin? It was so exciting to explore today's topic from various perspectives. It really made me reflect on how legal and technical innovation must grow hand in hand. I'm optimistic that South Korea will emerge as a leader in the new space era. Thank you so much for joining with us, Tony An. And thank you to our viewers for sticking with us. We'll be back next time with more amazing space stories right here on One Minute Space. You are one minute window into the cosmos. That's it from your science communicator, Star. And from your space law attorney, Yangshin An of Hanhua Aerospace. Thank, thank you. you.